uh, Rhaenyra ends up popping out three boys. All three boys have uh, brown, darkish hair and pug noses, um, which are attributes that Harwin Strong had. And her husband, Lenor Valerian, had silver hair and purple eyes. The way these children look will come up later. Shit's, shit starts getting crazy convenient. Shit starts getting crazy convenient. Because like I told you already, Damon, you know, had a relationship with Rhaenyra where he was like training her to be a desirable woman for Kristen and Cole. That's in the past, right? Like I said with Damon, the bronze bitch dies, which means that Damon is free. And Damon decides to marry Lena Valerian, who was the baddest bitch in the game. She literally had the biggest dragon on earth, Vagar. <laughs> Vagar was the dragon that Visenya had. And if you remember Visenya, she was the big three, Aegon, Visenya, and Rhaenys. So of the first big three, the dragons that conquered Westeros, okay, there's only one alive. Meraxes was killed in Dorne, and then Balerion the Black Dread was last ridden by King, Visen King Viserys. Balerion died. Balerion was just so old because Balerion came from Valyria, lived all this time, ridden by Aegon the Conqueror, ridden by Maegor, and now ridden by Viserys. Like, uh, Balerion died before Viserys even died. So Vagar was the only dragon left from that time, meaning Vagar was 200 years old plus, meaning that like dragons never stop growing. So the older they are, the bigger they are. So always the oldest dragon will be bigger than any young dragon. And that's what Lena had, okay? Lena was a bad bitch. I kind of believe that Damon did fall in love with Lena. She was pretty powerful. She had the biggest dragon. Great house, great, great, great upbringing. So Lena and and Damon kind of, you know, marry in haste, and they go to Pentos, and that's where Lena gives birth to um, the twins, the daughters, Bela and Reyna. Tragedy takes place, and Lenor and Lena, brother and sister, to House Valerian, die in the same year. Lenor who is Prince Consort to Rhaenyra, he dies um, in like a sword fight. It's actually um, his paramour, his lover that kills him. And then Lena, who is married to Prince Damon, the rogue prince at this point, she dies in childbirth trying to give him a son. Even when she was dying, her last wish, her last act was trying to crawl out to her dragon, Vagar, and just ride Vagar one last time. Yeah, fuck it, I'm fucking dying. I'm bleeding out of the uterus, but the last thing I wanna do is ride my dragon. That was Lena's legacy. Everybody is on Driftmark for the funeral of, you know, Lenor and Lena, who were like beloved, like fucking, like I told you, Valerians are the shit. They're not shit in this story, in the TV show Game of Thrones. When you look at the history of House Targaryen, House Targaryen is nothing without House Valerian. So it's a big funeral. So, you know, Viserys, his sons, Alohan, stupid ass ho bitch, stupid ass bitch ass ho. Everybody is at Driftmark, right? So, I don't know why, but Viserys kind of jokes to his son Amon because Amon didn't have a dragon. That like, oh, um, you should have a dragon by now. You should claim one if you're strong enough to. He actually promises Amon will go to Dragonstone. Dragonstone is a volcanic island with heat, which dragons love. Dragonstone is basically where any dragon egg hatchling is at because of the proximity to the heat. 
He promises his stupid ass son Amon that like we'll go to Dragonstone, you know, after this funeral and everything's for you to claim a dragon because you're the only one that doesn't have a dragon. Remember, Viserys and Alicent have have Aegon, they have Helena, they have Amon, and they have Darren. And Darren, Aegon, and Helena have dra dragons, but Amon doesn't. Now, also remember that the biggest dragon in the world is Vagar. Vagar was Helena's dragon. And Helena has died. Everyone's at her funeral now. Amon One Eye gets his name from this night. Amon, instead of waiting on his father's word to go to Dragonstone to claim a dragon of his own, he decides that he wants to claim Vagar, the dragon of the dead woman, Lena. And Amon, the little just scheming bitch that he is decides that he wants Vagar as his mount. So Amon gets up in the middle of the night to try to mount Vagar. Rhaenyra, Jeff Mark is her home. Her husband is from Drake, Jeff Mark. She's passing off her bastard son as being from Jeff Mark. So when Amon gets up in the middle of the night, to try to claim Vagar, it's not so easy. Because Rhaenyra's sons, although they are strong, are there to defend it. And they're like, hey bitch, hey mom, what you doing? Huh? What you trying to claim? Rhaenyra's children were only six, five, and three. So you have a 10 year old battling a six year old, a five year old, and a three year old. Make a long story short, Amon. Um, he jumps on Vagar and takes his first flight. And he's actually successful, Su successful, successful. He's actually successful. And he's able to mount Vagar. Vagar doesn't brush him off. Dragar, um, Vagar takes flight with him. When he touches land again, who's waiting for him but Rhaenyra's sons. There's a fight that ensues and Joffrey, three years old, takes out a dagger and takes out Aemon's eye. So Aemon gains a dragon, the biggest dragon, but loses an eye. Now, after all this happens, all the adults get involved. When the king and everyone is alerted, they're like, what the heck is going on? What the heck? And then, you know, Alison the Ho, her children are calling them Strongs. And the series is like, what the hell? Why are you calling them Strongs? They're literally, Rhaenyra and Laenor Valerion's kids. Where'd you hear this? And like, just look at them. They look like Strongs. And this Viserys is like, I'm not gonna stand for this. He's like, if anyone calls my daughter's kids Strongs, you will lose your tongue for that. At, up until this point, everybody was living in King's Landing. Uh, Viserys separated. He's like. Rhaenyra, you're the heir. The heir lives on Dragonstone. So he puts Rhaenyra and her kids on Dragonstone. And then he takes Alice and his stupid ass wife back to King's Landing. And then he also sends the Strongs back to Harrenhal. But when he sends the Strongs back to Harrenhal, something mysterious happens. There's a mysterious fire at Harrenhal and Lionel and Harwin end up dying, okay? So the hand is dead and Rhaenyra's, okay, let me just be honest. The father of Rhaenyra's kids dies. Viserys makes Otto Hightower, the stupid little bitch, his hand again, now that the Strongs pretty much are dead. It's not even a year before bo both of those deaths where Rhaenyra and Damon marry each other. You nasty. Rhaenyra and Damon are finally legally married and allowed to be with each other. Okay, so now you have the backstory. Now here starts the dance of the dragons. <laughs> Viserys dies, okay? Viserys dies, okay? So let's just recap. So he told his daughter, Rhaenyra, 
to, to stay on Dragonstone, right? When you are stayed on Dragonstone with two Kingsguard knights, Viserys went back to King's Landing with his fucking family with five Kingsguard knights. And so he separated Rhaenyra and his queen, which many would find wise. But it was unwise because obviously when he died, his queen, Alicent Hightower, had the advantage. So she didn't tell anyone that he died until like seven days later of his corpse stinking and rotting and rigor mortar scene. Oh, I blame 100% of the dance of the dragons on fucking the high, on Alison Hightower, her dumbass dad, Hightowers in general. Viserys, who is a good king, who like, didn't bother anybody, who didn't do anything, who clearly said that his daughter was going to be the heir, dies. Alison, his wife. The first thing she did was she was cons she conspired Alicent conspired to have her son Aegon, who would be Aegon II, crowned. So <laughs> the funny thing is, when Viserys died, like Aegon was in the was like had a, a whore on his lap. Aegon was not really concerned with being king. Aegon was just a was just a guy who was just out here. He did have a wife, his sister, Helena, who did bore him true born heirs. But Aegon was like, fuck that bitch. I'm gonna have some bastards. I'm gonna be out here because I don't want to be married to my sister, which I fucking agree with. Aegon was out here with his whores, with women of his choosing. And he barely saw his sister. He didn't give a fuck about Helena. And Aegon's stupid bitch ass was actually first he was like, why would I be named as king when literally my entire existence has known my sister as being the heir? What the fuck are you guys doing? And then everybody was like, nah, 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 nah. You're the king, nah, 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 nah. You're the king, nah, nah, nah. Forget what Viserys said, nah, 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 Cause you have a date, nah, nah, nah. Cause you're a man, nah, 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 nah. You're, you're, don't listen. You're the king, you're the king, you're the king. Even though that's not what the series wanted. Aegon was like, nah, 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 I was here for all that shit. My dad literally said my sister was queen. But then his his mom, queen, Alicent, the stupid, and Kristen Cole was like, hey man, if your sister takes rule, your sister will kill you and all your brothers and sisters and all your friends and family. So then Aegon was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. If she gonna kill everything that I know and love, then fuck yeah, I'm gonna go against her. So only under threat did Aegon actually agree to be the king of the Seven Kingdoms. That's strange, right? That's strange. Kristen Cole, stupid ass. Let me tell you about Kristen Cole, stupid ass. Let me tell you about Mr. Beesbury. Beesbury is a house that's sworn to um, the Riverlands. Beesbury was the only one who had the guts to be like, hold up, Allison. Your husband died. That means Rhaenyra needs to be queen because your husband made hundreds of lords swear that Rhaenyra would be queen. And you know what happened to Beesbury? <laughs> Kristen Cole. Kristen Cole is that butthurt knight who may or may not have wanted Rhaenyra. And Kristen Cole sliced open that man. <laughs> so no more Beesbury. So anyone who might have been in favor of Rhaenyra, kept that shit to themselves. Now, if any of you sons of bitches 
got anything else to say? Now's the fucking time! I didn't think so. Anybody else want to talk? Anybody else? Anybody else want to claim Rhaenyra as the queen? Because this is what happens to you. And he's holding up the hat. Everybody. Everybody's like, all right, Aegon's king. We're going to do whatever the high tower bitch and whatever Kristen Cole says, okay? Um, it's, 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 it's Allison Hightower. Keep that shit under wraps. So like, nobody's gonna know. I'm like, I want them to know. But Rhaenyra hears of her half-brother being crowned king. You know, the throne that's actually hers. This causes her to go into, you know, premature labor. Rhaenyra was pregnant with her six child first three children were by the strongs slash valerians and then the last three would be by her uncle damon and finally the sixth child was supposed to be a daughter to rhaenyra rhaenyra out here shooting out nothing but sons and her last daughter Visenya, she was you know due to be born allison didn't give a fuck that another woman was in labor, she still conspired to do what she did, which is to put her own blood, her own son, as king. Even though that's not what the Ceres wanted. And her baby was born a month early. She was born- Monstrous, twisted. I pulled him up myself. He was scaled like a lizard, blind, with leather wings like the wings of a bat. Almost killed Rhaenyra. The, the baby was a stillbirth. <laughs> you think a woman would have sympathy for another woman in labor, but not Alison. Alison wanted Rhaenyra to die. Was supposed to be his Now we start the dance. Alison crowns Aegon. And then Damon crowns Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. So this is how corrupt it is. Two of the Kingsguard defected. Stefan Darkman, one of the Kingsguard, he decides that fuck this King's Landing shit. Rhaenyra's the actual heir, so he sneaks away. But he steals Jaehaerys' crown. So Rhaenyra, when she's crowned by her uncle husband, Damon, is actually crowned with Jaehaerys' crown. Could you imagine being Kingsguard who was like sworn, who sat there and watched Viserys, you know, say that his daughter was gonna take Ryan and then you have to be caught in between. Well, Darkman said, fuck that shit. I'm with Queen Rhaenyra. Dar Here, boy. Melt it down and add it to the others. I plain fucking led the King's Guard and King's Landed and made it all the way to Dragonstone to serve his one true queen. So anyone saying that it was a hard decision to make, Darkland made that decision. Now, as you know, it's a war type. How you win a war? Get the majority of the Lords of Westeros on your side. So the biggest Lord right now is Baratheon. So Alicent, seven days in advance, and her stupid son, Aemon, Aemon One-Eye, because remember Joffrey took his eye out when he claimed the dragon. Now Aemon's all, everyone's all grown up, okay? <laughs> you have King Aegon, which was Viserys and Alicent to get. Team Green is basically made up of anyone with high tower blood. From left to right, we have the youngest, Daeron. Next to him is Aemon One-Eye. Next to Aemon One Eye is Otto Hightower, the beta male lick spittle that started all this. Seated is Aegon II, the usurper. Next to him is his bitch mother, Alicent. Alicent Hightower. Next to her is her daughter, Helena. Helena and Aegon are married, and look, they already have three little ones. See? Everyone's all grown up. All, everyone's all grown up, okay? <laughs> From left to right, we have Rainies. You don't know who she is yet. I'll tell you about her later. The twins, Bela and Reyna. You remember Bela and Reyna? Poor dead Lena gave birth to them. Remember, she was married to Damon. Next to the twins is their big daddy, Damon. Mm. Next to Damon is the rightful queen, Rhaenyra, right there in the center. She has her two youngest, Aegon and Viserys. And then next to her are her three oldest, Jacaris, Lucerys, and Joffrey. And then next to them is the sea snake himself, Corlys Valerion. Amen, one eye, 
goes to uh, the Baratheon Island and he's feasting and kikiing and ha ha ha. He gets the storm's end and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna marry one of your daughters. Like, you, we're gonna have an alliance. Like, you're gonna be with Team Green. King Aegon had House Hightower, House Lannister, and King King's Landing at his disposal. You have Castle Rock, literal literal gold mine. You have Hightower, which has you know the Reach and all of their riches. And you have King's Landing with all their taxes and their riches at your disposal. Now, Rhaenyra had only House Valerion, and at that time, House Valerion was as rich if not richer than the Lannister, as well as Dragonstone, which is pretty much where, I don't know, all the dragons were born. Jace, he has a dragon. So she sends her first son, Jace, to go to the Vale, to go to, and to go to the North. And then she sends her second son on an easier mission to go to the Baratheon house, other than Beesbury, the first bloodshed that happens, happens at Baratheon land. So they're on the Baratheon storm's end, right? Aemon, Alicent's whole, Alicent the whole sons, you know, he's already there. Luke, he gets there, he has a letter from his mom. He's there as on, on a peace treaty. He's not there as a warrior. He just, he, he's just like, here's what my mom says. She's like, please join her cause. You know, please be one of her bannermen. And you know, Bar Baratheon, Lord Baratheon basically laughs in his face. He's like, he's like, a daughter shouldn't come before a son. Fuck that shit. I'm team green. Luke, he's like, all right, well, I said what I have to say. I'm gonna go now. See you later. And that hater, Aemon One Eye, he chases after Luke and he's like, no, I'm gonna take one of your eyes because you took one of my eyes. And Luke's like, yo, yo, what's going on here? I'm here on a peace and a stay. Like, I'm not doing this fighting thing. I just came to give a message. Like, I'm good. And so then Luke, like, leaves. And then Amon the Hater leaves and follows him. And there's apparently a storm. A storm on Storm's End. Imagine that. There's a storm, there's lightning, and of course, Amon is on the biggest dragon known to man. And, you know, Luke is not. So, um... Aemon ends up killing Luke and killing his dragon. Even though that's not what the series wanted. Luke's death is like, it's, it's hard. Like, come on, like he's a little kid, you know, faced with war and he dies. And Damon is like, we're gonna have our revenge. And our revenge comes by the name of blood and cheese. But in cheese were like lowly, like King's Landers, Landinders, assassins, like dirty. So cheese was a rat catcher. And being a rat catcher, that means he was intimate with the knowledge of all the secret passages ways of King's Landing. If you remember, Magor had all these secret passageways built and then he killed everybody who built it at a freaking dinner. So the, the passages, the ways that the ins and out were, were lost, were known to, not known to man, but they were known to rats and they were known to rat catchers. So Blood and Cheese made their way into King's Landing and they went into Allison, the stupid hole's room. Her, um, her son, Aegon and Helena, they already had kids. They had twins, Jaharis and Jahara, and they had Maelor. So um, Blood and Cheese, you know, made their way to the secret passages up into Allison's room. Um, they killed her bedmaid and then they just had her like, just, you know, tied up. And they waited because they knew that Helena, every night she took her kids up to their grandmother's room to say goodnight. So as Helena entered, they took all them up. Um, they held the girl and then there was the boy, the older and the younger. And Blood and Cheese told her, you pick which child dies. Poor Helena. You know, of course, Helena couldn't choose. She was like, pick me instead. Like, no, like, that's so fucked up. What are you doing? And they were like, hurry up before we rape your daughter. And I'm talking, these kids are like three, four years old, okay? So Helena's like, 
forced to make a decision. So she chooses Melor, who's the youngest. And she figures that maybe since he's the youngest, he won't know, he won't realize what happened. But blood and cheese kill her oldest and leave the youngest with the knowledge knowing that your mother wanted you dead. And this drives Helena insane. Like afterwards, like, you know, blood and cheese, they do what they say. They don't hurt anybody else. They take his head and they go. But you know, forever, by this event, Helena is never the same. Helena is crazy. Helena can't ride her dragon. Helena can't feed or clothe herself. Helena can't do anything because, she, and she can't look at her youngest son knowing that she sentenced him to death. Helena becomes crazy and Aegon, he used to drink, but this made him more of a drinker. This made him an alcoholic. Aegon commanded that all of the rat catchers be caught and hung and Hightower brought in hundreds and thousands of cats. So these cats were the new rat catchers. So there was no need for a person like cheese to exist. Fucked up, but Lise, Tyrosh, and Myrrh. So they were three daughters or the three whores, if you will, over in Essos that kind of disputed. They were Damon's enemies because Damon took their shit. Damon took their territories. Damon had dragons and they didn't have shit. So they were haters. So of course, Hightower reached out to them. But you know, dealing with another country in a medieval world where like your words are being either flown by a raven or ship, it's gonna take a while. So Hightower was doing all that he could, but his efforts weren't good according to Amen. So Amen dismissed him, not Amen, Aegon. Aegon dismissed him and Aegon employed Kristen Cole as his hand. He told Hightower, you're too slow, my dude. Why are you so faster? And he employs Kristen Cole. 